Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel to a brand new video. This is going to be a short guide on this bonus. Uh, this bonus is available for you if you can purchase five days, two times each. As you can see, accumulate up to two times per day. That means you have to accumulate this bar right here, which is filling up on top. And if you can accumulate 10 purchases here, you will be able to get a free SSR Libo. And I'm really, really close. I am eight purchases done, and I have two attempts for today. So I'll be buying two of these, any two of these packs in order to get the Libora copy that I want and will make Libora really very, very strong. So now Libora is a great character. You also get 100,000 gold. You get a precision design, which is uh, to get the weapon from 60 to 80. It is very, very required and uh, special draw ticket times 10, you get 50,000 gold. That is 150,000 in total. You get normal design and you also get a chest where there is a chance to get SSR weapon or even essence stone for that matter. So it is really worth it. So let me go ahead and just make these purchases. These two purchases, I think I'll be skipping this daily draw ticket pack because $1 for one ticket is not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather go for three keys right here, even though three keys are worth 150 essence stone if you exchange for keys, but I definitely need this enhancement chip because I'm running low on them as well as the weapon enhancement gear. So I'll be buying this two times and let me just return back after I make this purchase. So here we go. Okay, so the triggers have been pulled, purchases have been made and we have the rewards in our inventory. Now I went ahead and bought this ticket because I believe we have to save for, uh, save for Chia He In because she's going to come as a limited time character, even Alicia. So I thought let's go ahead and gather up these tickets rather than um, the keys. And this is going to be the final purchase because this is the last one that we needed for Libora to get us a copy of her. So that is going to be what I did and if I go over to bonus and you'll be seeing that I have a Libora pending in here. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't show a red icon, but definitely we can get our Libora right here. So another SSR added to the roster, time to show the power of magic and here we go. Awesome, awesome. She's going to be so good at uh, A1. I cannot even start, begin to compare, like she's going to be one of the strongest. So that is going to be really, really amazing. Now. We do have her, so yeah, it turns into a copy, which is great. Now let's go to our hunters and let's uh, give her the A1. So you can see she's one of the strongest, like she has the highest DPS in my whole roster because her artifact set is just that good and amazing. Okay, so I'll be working on her accessories because as of now I don't have a perfect set for her. So I have been giving her two piece of each, but I'll be going ahead with a four piece later. But let's go ahead and do the advancement right now. So you can see the summon, the effect of summoning charm Phoenix Fox changes. When Phantom Fox is used, three foxes are summoned. Increases the damage of each Phantom Fox by 50%. So basically the two Phantom Fox that she summons when you use her skill Phantom Fox will be changed to three. And the damage each of them de deals will be increased by 50%. So that means one additional fox is a 50% damage increase in itself and 50% for each fox is 150%. That means 200% damage. So the damage the foxes will deal will be increased by two folds. That is insane. That is just straight up insane in my opinion. So let's advance it and let's get it right here. So we gain a power advantage of 1505. I believe it is way more than that, to be honest. Uh, okay, so if you give her her A2, she is, gets, gains crit hit rate and crit hit damage by 6%. My God, she is so good when you give her the advancements, right? Now, the effect of strengthening charm changes can be used up to two times, increases the skills range and damage by 40%. Wow, this, this is insane. Uh, at A4, decreases the cooldown of Dark Charm Meg by 25%. That is her ultimate. And if you go to her last one, the basic damage of the small Megs of Dark Charm Meg increases by 75%. So she is straight up insane. She is a summoner debuffer, but she will become really, very strong. So she's a dark mage type character. So you definitely want to have her kind of, you get a copy for spending $10, which I believe is really worth it in my opinion with the, all the rewards that you get alongside with it. So yeah, with that, a small video just to showcase, like if you do spend, you will get so much benefits that it's not even close. So yeah, with that, if you possibly can just go ahead and get her, um, otherwise you can just uh, get her from the selection draw eventually. So yeah, with that, this was a small guide for some spending if you're gonna do, uh, but do it wisely. Do not spend unless you can definitely, definitely have extra. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's end this video here. If you do enjoy such content, let me know in the section down below. And if you haven't liked the video, do like it. Subscribe if you haven't for more solo living arise content. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out. Take care.